disgusting, but beautiful. Not really. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we are going to continue working on what I started off camera, and that is some defenses around this place. And um, then what we're going to do is uh, head up into the mountains and start doing mountain stuff, mountainy stuff. Uh, so what I have been told is that once you defeat the boss of a certain um, biome, then the next level biome creatures will start attacking you, which means mountain creatures. Um, and since I have no immediate plans to move away from this base, I, I have tentative long-term plans to move away from it and build something bigger somewhere else, but no immediate plans. I figured we probably better get some defenses in place, and I, I didn't really want to dig a moat. Uh, so we're gonna go with the stone wall and if we get trolls which are capable of breaking the stone walls We will hopefully you know be able to kill them before they Before they manage to do that. Uh, so I started on the process as you can see here and have um, Just adjust a couple things here um, and have built the wall. Uh, I started it out this way and You know if uh, I mean, most creatures that attack us are probably not going to come from the water side, uh, but they could get around this, so I might go out a little bit further on that side too, but, um, you know, most of the time they're going to come from over here, uh, at least from what I've seen so far. And I don't, I don't think a troll can get over even this wall height here, but we'll probably, you know, we are going to have ranged creatures too that will attack us. And so, you know, we probably should build this wall up at least too high. So I've gotten as far as uh, to here with the uh, with the wall. So let's go ahead and continue it on from that point and just kind of see how it comes together. I'm also going to harvest um, my raspberries. Well, I guess we'll harvest everything, but the raspberries in particular, uh, just because I'm trying to build those up. So let's get that done, and then we got to go get our our stone cutter and get that set up out here because you have to have that in place of course before you can lay stone stone stuff down so let's stick the stone cutter right about here ish that should work and then we'll go grab some stone i've got a little bit in there 357, yeah, we'll just start with that. And we're going to have to do some a little bit more uh, working the ground, too. So let's... Uh, yeah, that looks about right. Just kind of come along here. All right, heavy building, and... Uh, once I get the the stone wall in place too i'll i'll pick up the fence because we no longer need it to stay there all right i don't want to go out this far i think what i do want to do though is go out yeah i want to go out to here and then we can turn and come this direction Did snap correctly yeah Uh, I'm not I'm not planning on doing anything with this area here, so that's why I'm actually bringing the wall over like this All right, we might need to Bring the ground up. Oh shit. Let me do that Why don't we bring the wall up to the edge of the dock? I think that's what we'll do. So the question now, though, is do I want to raise the ground? 
or just have the wall tapered down. I think it would look better if we raised the ground up a little bit there. So why don't we do that? Grab a couple more piles of stone. Alright. We need to go out this way a little bit more. And actually, this this could actually function as a wall itself. Now that I think about it. Yeah, why don't we hit it that way? There's our wall right there. Um, and again, not likely stuff will attack us from the seaside. Certainly possible, but not likely. I wish I could try and get that a little straighter. Don't necessarily need to build it higher. I just want to get it a little straighter. Okay, so I like this height right about here. So let's just f see if we can flatten to here. Whoa! Maybe if we kind of trim it back a little bit, it's not too bad, I guess. I actually need to raise this up a little bit here. Well, maybe not that much. Whoops. Oh, shit. Sorry, I turned. I had the wrong thing turned on there. Now we're gonna have to trim this back. Let's tap it right here too. All right, that looks, that's much straighter. Can we trim this one back just a, a smidge? Yeah, a little closer. There, okay. Start right about here. There. That's not so bad. Yeah, that's not so bad. Just tap that little piece there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around um, the wall again. And, and go another layer up. Uh, but I don't think we need to go any higher than that. Uh, let's just see what it's going to look like. Oh yeah, that's plenty high. Because, you know, nothing's, nothing's going to be able to shoot at us inside the yard. Unless they're, you know, unless they're shooting from way out there, but I'm not. They probably won't do that. And then I'll, I'll put like a little, um, you know, rampart kind of idea. Up, up there so that we can um, get up on top of the wall and shoot at trolls and other enemies that, you know, come by and make a nuisance of themselves. And then I think we'll be. Reasonably well defended. At least much better defended than we were before I built the wall here. Okay, yeah, we'll just do that. And this is already, you know, pretty pretty far down. So I'm not worried about anything getting up on that side. So let me get this done. Uh, the other thing we'll do too is we'll, we'll make a gate going out the back as well. Because, you know, with the wall 
too high, we're not going to be able to really get over it. I mean, I don't know. Can we do the scoochy scooch thing over it? Oh, we can. <laughs> it's kind of cool that we can do that. But yeah, we'll, uh, uh, I'll, uh, you know, put a, a gate. In fact, we should probably do an iron gate. Um, yeah, we should probably do an iron gate instead of the wood gates because trolls could easily break those. So I will bring you guys back uh, when I have uh, the wall finished. All right, look, the ground is shaking. Talk about getting that done in the nick of time, my word. Okay, uh, let's get our bow out and make sure we're on fire arrows. And hopefully we can just bring these guys down before they break our wall. Especially if they're just going to stand there and be an idiot. I don't know how long it'll take him to break that. Um, and he's also screwing up our crops too with his stones. At least there aren't any log trolls. At least not yet. Oh, I have my wrong... I have the wrong bow. I'm using the fine wood bow, not the iron bow. Hunter Huntsman Bow or whatever it's called. Fortunately, the trolls are more interested in trying to get to me than they are ruining my wall, so it's working in our favor. Alright, come on, stamina. Let's take one of these. Get that stamina region going more quickly. There we go. Okay, yeah, that was uh, fairly timely. <laughs> Let's see um, how much damage did they do. Eh. I mean, if he would have kept pounding on it, he would have he would have broken through. And he busted up a couple of our shrubs here too, but we can fix those or berry bushes, I should say. Let's get all the loot skis off of them. Okay, I'll bring you guys back when the wall's done. All right, guys, I got the wall finished. Um, I extended it out uh, this way just a little bit more too, uh, but I didn't want to take it too far out because then it'll interfere with us, you know, uh, coming into port with the ship there. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to make an iron gate going out this way. We'll make one going out the back this way probably right about here would be a good spot we'll just say uh, maybe right there and then that one will switch over to iron so to do that we're gonna need four pieces of iron okay how big are these iron gates yeah, they're pretty good size. So I think what we'll do here is we'll do... Um, here, i got to set the stone cutter back down. And I think what we'll do is we'll put pillars up on each side of this. So let's go back and get some more stone. Okay, put those there, that there, and that there. Okay, and then we should be able to pop the iron gate in there. I don't like how it's uh, buried in the ground. We flatten that down a little bit. All right, let's try that. Hmm. All right, we'll tap it on this side too. Uh, that's a little better.
Yeah, I, I, that'll have to do. That'll have to do. Okay. Um, now, I want to get... Uh, uh, I don't suppose I can put one there and then merge another... Oh, I can. Well, never mind. All right, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't think it would let me do that. Like a little arch there. Uh, that's not very realistic, though. I mean, if you were trying to keep humans out anyway. Not that we're trying to keep humans out. Uh, I want to try something else, too. T can we put this in the, the... Yeah, the center. There we go. I like that better. Uh, okay, so the arch is cool and all, but... Um, what if we, could we do, do that? Could we also, uh, let's see. Ooh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I kind of like that. I still I still don't think I like the arches, though. So, let's just go back to... I think this piece here. And just put that in there. But I did like the the dragon head sticking out though. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, we'll go with that. As soon as it turns nighttime, I'll sleep. Um, there's nobody else on the server right at the moment, so. But it's still not nighttime. We just have a we have a long dusk and a long dawn because you know of how we've changed the time on the server. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's pick this up. And we'll move it over to here. And I think we said we wanted the gate to go out this way. Alright, so. It's now nighttime. Um, here, let's just put that back in place just in case we get another invasion. I don't think we would this soon, but you never know. And we'll sleep. Okay, well, we'll do the same thing we did before then. We'll just pick it down a little bit. The center. I want it to snap in the center. It's not snapping in the center like it was before. Hmm. All right. Can we? Stand right about here and raise the ground up a bit. Okay, that works. Like that. Cool. Um, I don't know if I can get that to pop in the center and stay at the right level. I'm just 
just raise that ground up a little more right there. All right, now let's try it and see what happens. Yeah, that works. Okay. All right, now if we need to easily get up on the wall, we can... We have stone stairs. Uh, those are actually shallower than I thought they were going to be. I think what we'll do for this is we'll, we'll go on the cheap and just get up using uh, these ladders here. Oh, wood. Let's put a little platform up there. And that way we can, you know, get up here and of course if if it's trolls we're battling, they're probably gonna get right up to the wall and thump us. Um so I almost wonder if maybe what we'll need to do with them is maybe make a tower. Alright, so for you, we'll just put a thingy in the corner here so we can quickly get up here. So put that there and then this here. Uh there. Grab this. Okay. I know this this is this is on the cheap. <laughs> um I'm I'm just trying to make some whoops. Uh, just trying to make something basic and functional without getting too fancy. Um, considering that this is at least this point, you know, at this point not our our final build. Okay. So, we finally got some defenses in place and um that should go a long ways and you know helping us to to defend our base when we get attacked well much better than it was before that stone piece is awfully crooked looking that's really weird hmm. and uh yeah so i think what we'll do now is yeah let, let's at least go up into the mountains we, we, we don't have a lot of time to do a whole lot up there We'll, we'll at least go up there. Um, so let me get prepared for that, and then um, that's what we shall do. Disgusting, but beautiful. Not really. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are ready to go here. And so let's see. We've got all of our iron gear, right? Yep. Yeah. Iron helm. Um, we've got... 88 iron arrows. We got some poison arrows. Let's make some more fire arrows. Fire arrows are pretty much just useful all the time for everything, just about. Uh, well, that may not that might not be true when we get to Ashlands, though. Actually, I would imagine there's probably some creatures there that are immune to fire, or at least uh, resistant to it. Um, also, also, I was going to tell you guys, I got myself a whole bunch of chitin from the, from the turtles, and, um, so that we can make the harpoon and the abyssal dagger, I think it is, and maybe one or two other things, too, at some point, uh, which we may do. All right, we got health potions. We Probably don't need poison resistance in the mountains, but we'll take it anyway. Oh, you know what we do need is frost, and I have, have some of that made. Um, yeah, we're going to need frost potions until we get... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there isn't anything in the mountains that will poison us. I might be wrong about that, and if I am, we'll find out. But uh, we definitely need that until we get the right armor to keep us warm. Uh, because otherwise we'll, we'll lose health. Because it's pretty damn cold there. All right, now what we're gonna do is, let's see. Did I empty out the hold of the long ship? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. 
we're ultimately going to have to take um, the long ship uh, to a little outpost that we're going to first teleport to, you know, to haul the silver back. Um, I could even set up some smelters and smelt it there, but it doesn't matter. I mean, whether we bring the ore back or the ingots back, it still has to come back by ship. We can't take it, you know, through the, por uh, the portal. So let's go ahead and get warmed back up here. And then uh, we'll go to the outpost and we'll just kind of head up into the mountains a little bit and just kind of check it out and see. Oh, you know what else I need is my wishbone um, to see if we can locate a silver vein. And I did decide to do my mountain adventuring on a separate island. Um, so this is our main island here. I'm leaving this mountain for a couple of the other guys, you know, that also need that stuff. Uh, there's a mountain here, so that's going to be our first one. That's where I put up the outpost, and then there's another larger one here that we can move to later if, uh, you know, if we don't get everything we need. All right, so... Uh, wishbone, right. What what the hell did I do with it? There it is. Okay. So we need this for, for finding um, silver. And that takes the place of our belt. Which is fine for now. Yeah. All right, let's go. So, yeah, when I was sailing back from Bone Mass, I uh, actually sailed for quite some time. As you can see on the map here. Um, so here's Bone Mass. So I sailed all the way around down through here, all the way around up and through here down through here and then this is where um, this outpost where we're at now is just right across the water from our base which is over here and uh, I've got just a little kind of makeshift uh, dock out here for when we do bring the ship I put this little shed up here on top of a boulder and uh, also have a, a fire you know just going on underneath here okay so let's head on up into the mountains our first time actually being up there I, I've kind of poked my head up into it a couple times but I haven't gone to the mountains to actually do anything did I just hear a troll I did <laughs> okay is he a log troll or just a boulder troll he's just a boulder troll all right, why don't we kick his ass or have him kick our ass? Is he vulnerable to... Oh, God, we really hit him hard. To poison? He's just plain vulnerable to our bow altogether. I didn't quite time that dodge as well as I could have. Is the poison doing damage over time to him? Yeah, it is. Just a little bit. All right. I believe the poison arrows are supposed to be good against motor, uh, as I recall. <coughs> All right, tell you what let's do. Let's make um, just a little storage chest, because I don't want to carry all this extra stuff up into the mountains with us. There was a spawner over there that I killed, too. Uh, furniture. That needs tin wood. Yeah, okay, let's get some, some more wood here. Oh, you know what? I wanted to... I wanted to start leveling up my sword skill, uh, but I need to actually make an iron sword. I got the bronze sword, but I have enough iron to make one and, and get it upgraded. But, you know, we have a lot more skill at the moment in clubs. I have 30 in clubs, and in swords I have 10. So I think I'd, I'll stick with our best skilled weapon for the moment. 
at least on our first foray into the mountain. But eventually I'd like to, you know, switch over to the sword. And uh, the guys were saying to that the, the at gear is really good in the planes because of its, you know, range and knockback and stuff like that. So we might start working on uh, leveling that up too. I don't, I have no idea how good these mountains are or how expansive they are. Um, so I figured we'd check them out and, you know, if they're not that great, we'll, we'll try and find a better spot. All right, how come we're not getting the the cold debuff? <clears throat> Maybe it's because the sun's out? Okay, there we go. You're freezing. So let's take that potion, and then we should be protected from that cold for 10 minutes. But we'll eventually be able to get... Um, oh, yeah, you know what? This, this mountain's not very big at all. We'll eventually be able to get armor that'll and fur and stuff like that that'll keep us protect us from the cold. So we don't need to keep taking potions. Oh, this is tiny. All right, yeah. Uh, I just didn't know, you know, because I haven't been up here. Let's just see if we can find a silver vein. But we're going to have to move to a larger place. Our wishbone will start pinging if we get close to it. Yeah, this is a very small mountain, though. Okay, I see a, a wolf. It's just one. All right, well, we one shot his ass. There, where there's one, there's often more of those, so we need to be careful. Wolf meat and wolf pelt. Nice. Is this? Yeah, that's obsidian. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some of that because we're also going to need it for crafting. So at least, uh, very nice. Oh, so we need that to make poison arrows. How about that? Forgot about that. Um, so at least, you know, coming up here wasn't like a total loss. Damn near, though. <laughs> Those are just normal stone. I <clears throat> uh, hear more wolves. I'm not seeing them, though. How much obsidian did we get? 13 pieces. Okay. It's all just normal stone. Well, let's go kill these wolves. There probably aren't going to be any wyverns up here just because it's just too small of a mountain range. Even if we do start leveling up our sword in the mountains, we still want to keep our mace with us for the... Uh, there's the wolf. Uh, for the uh, golems. Alright. Let's go back up around this way. Okay, well, 
And ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about all there is to these mountains. Not a whole lot here. But uh, we got obsidian, uh, wolf meat, and wolf pelt. Which also unlocked a couple of things for us. So it wasn't a complete waste of time. But a little disappointing. Um, I think the wood up here is just normal wood. Right? I don't think it's special in any way. Let's just... Yeah, that's just a fir tree. Okay. I'm not even going to cut it down. Um, we might find... A Vesvigur, or however you pronounce that stone in this fort down here, to tell us where Motor is. Though, the guys already have Motor located, and when... I told you this in the last episode, but we're going to do that fight in multiplayer. But I'm going to have to pick up my little outpost there, and we're going to have to go find a larger mountain range. This is probably too far down into the Black Forest to... Oh, shit. It's a lot of skellies. Oh, well. Oh, that's Elder. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, this is too far into the Black Forest. But if you find a fort like this... Right at the edge of the mountains, or even up in the mountains, then you can sometimes find motor. I had a really, really hard time finding one of those stones for motor in my um, uh, my first single-player series. All right, I think there's yeah, there's just a hint of a of a mountain there. So you know, as you can see, this is a very small range. So I'm sure there's going to be something much larger up there. So what I might do is I might pick up my portal and just walk up this way and once we get close to the mountain, you know, just reset the outpost along the shore because, you know, we, again, we have to be able to get to it from our ship and uh, I think that's what we'll do. But uh, we are out of time in this episode, so I'll go get that set up and then we'll start the next episode with uh, our an adventure up into hopefully larger mountains which will have more uh, stuff for us including silver so that is the plan so thanks everybody for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch y'all in the next episode bye bye